Get ready for some great music and great stories. Band in Seattle starts right now. Welcome to Band in Seattle. I'm Xander Denke, and with me is Dave and Michael Stedman, songwriter, music editor, and lead singer of the band The Stax Brothers, to talk about tonight's band, Wild Powers. I love the Wild Powers. It's so prolific. It's exciting to be in a band that just can't stop writing songs. Take Who's Keys of Ease, a narrative song from the point of view of a wife at a 70s key party. It's not a Moon and June song, rather the sign of a songwriter actively mining their culture for the hidden riches of the recent past. Laura Hilgeman created a character you want to ask like 10 questions at once. I want to hack their emails just to listen to all these new demos, man. You can just ask them for it. I probably could, couldn't I? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back with Wild Powers. Party song is the song you want to hear in your party. Like, I love party music like that, like Kiss. You don't think about the Kiss lyrics or the music, you just think about how it makes you want to hang out and like party. <laughs> it's fun. I don't think it's our deepest song, but it's very fun to play. and I'm the guitarist and lead vocalist of Wild Powers. Hi, I'm Lupe Flores, and I play drums in Wild Powers. Hey, this is Jordan Gomes. I play bass for Wild Powers, and we're here at Hattie's Hat in Ballard, where all three of us work. I think for any band, like you can tell the relationship of the people on stage. And to me, that's what makes a great band, is a band that loves each other and is having fun. And it's just like being in a romantic relationship. That is hard. And you know, only certain people you're gonna jive with. And so I feel really fortunate because I play music with two very talented goofballs. And we're fortunate that we're only three piece because if it was more than three people, that'd be an even harder combination to like find multiple people that you get along with in that way that you don't want to strangle. I think maybe we got in like one fight on tour. And it wasn't even because of anything that really happened, it was because of the weather and we were all frustrated that we had to miss a show. And I didn't want us to drive through a hailstorm. Like <laughs> I'm really lucky to play with both of them. They're both like two of my best friends and two very talented people. Whose Keys Are These is our sleazy, sexy song. It was called something else, but it's too similar to a song title I had in my old band, so we changed it to Whose Keys Are These after the 70s key parties. There's like a few bands that we all like, but we try and bring all the things that the other three like in there. So there's, you know, there's punk things in there, there's goth moments, there's glam moments. I feel like there's somewhat of a unified sound in that though, that whenever the three of us are playing it, it's gonna sound like the same band. 
you know, and I have like a crazy imagination and I draw and paint and stuff and I can put some of that out as a painting, but you can also put it out as a song. I just, yeah, if I have the ability to create something that makes anyone think or feel something, then I want to do that. It's a one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like, but super heavy. And um, so that's why we named it that. May I have this dance? Yes. here at Hattie's and we just talked about like hey we should do them together sometime and I went and saw her play and I was like oh yes we need to play music together she's amazing and like sometimes I'll call Lara usually when I first wake up and because I don't know how to write music or anything so I'll just be like and she writes most of the lyrics for the most part they're often dark and scary and beautiful play guitar properly. I really don't. I Everything I do is by ear, and so whatever I hear in my head, I translate on a guitar. But if you ask me like what key I'm in, I can't tell you. But in this band, it's not frustrating at all because, like Lupe has said previously, like she'll send me a voice memo or call me with something and sound it out for me, and then I can figure it out super fast. Lara is, I mean, one of the craziest talented people without knowing that she is that I've ever met. She has all these ideas that she's not that great or whatever, but she has this really interesting character that comes out in her playing. And like, She writes songs more often and more proficiently than most people that I've known that have done it for an extremely long time. Like, She just has this knack for melodies and finding the thing that she wants to do pretty quickly. Without knowing exactly what she's doing, she hears all of her melodies in her head, and it's pretty impressive to watch her like pull them out. I've never been in a band that's so prolific as far as our creativity goes and writing songs. Like we're constantly writing songs. It's almost a problem because we can't keep up. That 
song, that's my nickname. Loops is my nickname. And that song came about from a drum beat I wrote. Loops is a weird one. I was trying to further my skill as a guitarist by just playing something I would never normally play or like do. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have that background, and so I'm just doing it by myself. I don't know, lyrically, I, I just kind of, I went with some filler lyrics. That one doesn't really have much meaning. <laughs> but maybe it does, I don't know. Watching Wild Powers drummer Lupe Flores is like watching a cheetah at full speed. Or Steph Curry hitting a three. Or Muhammad Ali when he stings like a bee. Nice. Lupe was meant to play drums. She was meant to play in this band. What she does, the world is in sync. I see flowers bloom. Icebergs stop melting. This is a lineup powered by a human steam engine that happens to be one of the coolest drummers that I can still afford to see. And we think you'll agree. We'll be right back with Wild Powers. Originally, it was going to be BRB, JK, LOL, RIP, GMA, Recipes, Grandma, but we thought that was a little too dark. Nobody's grandma died recently. say about Lupe. I mean, as I'm sure you know, she's one of the most energetic people I've ever met. <laughs> uh, crazy good drummer, uh, definitely one of the loudest drummers I've ever played with. She's kind of like, I mean, I don't know if she would like this term or not, but she's a fan mom, really. Like, she handles all the business for us. She busts her ass for us all the time. She is a very honest, straightforward person. She knows what she wants. She knows what she doesn't want. And so I really admire that in her, and she's really hardworking. Like, if it weren't for her, our band wouldn't be anywhere close to where it is right now. She works so hard for this band. She deserves a medal. She's this amazingly talented drummer. She's been in so many bands, and the fact that she like wants to focus on this band makes me feel really good because she ha she's done it for so much longer than JoJo and I, and. She's actually excited to be with us, which makes me excited, and I love her so much. Like, I can play some guitar and bass, but those are things you have to think, I have to think about anyway. Like, I have to consciously, like, learn how to play a chord, where if you hit a drum, it makes sound. And I'm a very impatient person, and um, it just makes the most sense. And every time I played it, I could hear myself getting better and better, and it was like, it just came natural.
exactly why I love playing the drums, because for me, that's like meditation. I don't have to think. It's like the one time my brain is finally quiet, and I can just, it's pure emotion. And yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to be prim and proper if I tried in any walk of life, no matter what I was doing. I've never been ladylike. I suck at it, and I think it's kind of dumb. Sad Bath, I just was playing with the guitar and I was like, this is kind of Sabbath-y, I like Sabbath a lot. I love old Sabbath. It'd be fun to make a song that was kind of like Sabbath. Jojo is this really awesome guy that we know. He is a very relaxed, very creative, extremely talented person. He's a way better guitarist than I am. It's kind of nice to be like, okay, like he's got this crazy part, I can lay back and focus on vocals. It's like a nice give and take where he can fill in space when I can't. When I started working here, the girls already worked here and like they had their band, which I was a fan of. And I started talking to their boyfriends about the three of us were gonna start a project with this Stooges kind of rock band. Um, and then one night we were having beers here after work and I was like, so what, like, when are we gonna start this thing, you know? And I just remember Lupe's boyfriend being like, eh, forget that, like you should just play with them, they need a new bass player anyway. And so it kind of was just like, right place, right time. with them is super easy like our band dynamic seems to just work itself out very well and anytime one of us is stressed one of the uh, one of us will always temper it there was one moment on our last tour where our friend came and uh, did a couple days with us and then the singer of one of the other bands we were out with was with us so it was me and five women like I guess some people would think you know maybe it would be less of like this foul mouth kind of activity but it's actually honestly more I would say It's so weird, like, you know, I'm gonna miss my friends and my loved ones, obviously. But coming back from Florida, you're just like, <sighs> to be here again. And I'm a traveler. I, I grew up in the military, and so I've traveled a lot. It's just something I'm really comfortable doing. If I could be on tour all the time, I would. Like little minstrels in a van, in the snack van. It's Lara's van, it's called the snack van because she made these amazing curtains that are like, French fries, Cheez-Its, s'mores, and hot dogs. And it's just like a dirty old van. Wanderer, I wanted to write a song where it was just guitar and vocal intro. It's just, you know, drive, it's a, another driving song where it like builds and builds and builds and crescendos and you get to just, you're doing your own thing. That's kind of like our epic ending. It's, it's, it's about needing to go out on your own and, and it's just about like, yep, this is it. I'm stepping out the door, I'm free.
much as I love Hattie's Hat, I would love it if we could just play music full time. Um, Cause we have way too much work to do just as a band. I mean, like I said, like we, those songs, we owe it to those songs to finish them. That's what I would like to see happen. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> That's it for tonight's Band in Seattle. If you want to hear more, check us out on bandinseattle.com where you can hear full concerts and find links for more information about our bands and where they're playing next. David? To follow this whole band scene, follow my page, 100 Miles of Music. We're going to travel the world from Brighton, England to Bellingham, Washington. I'm going to travel. I'm going to jog the whole way. I'm going to jog backwards. It's going to be amazing. You got a sweat band? Follow me on Friendster. All right. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for more great music and great stories on Band in Seattle.